welcome to my channel thank you for watching i'm sorry it's a little bit noisy because i'm filming right in front of my window and like they're like a ton of like kid traffic but it's okay i think we can live hopefully but today i'm going to be doing another the call if i didn't say welcome to my channel and thank you for watching again we should have Give this video a thumbs up if you love these thrift hauls, if you want me to do more of them. I've been doing a little bit of thrifting around town at this one particular thrift store in search of some particular sweaters that I used to pick up like a lot when I, not a lot, but I used to pick up and used to give me huge profits. They sold super quickly, almost winter now. Basically sweater seasons, I'm seeing like sales and sweaters picking up. So I thought I would go out and search for these particular sweaters. It was obviously the beginning of my journey. I didn't have much to spend on these like sweaters because I was only making so much profit off of stuff that I was selling out of my wardrobe. Last winter, I was just stuck on just sourcing from the bins. Then I was thinking about it recently when I like started seeing the sweater sales pick up that maybe I should just go back to that strategy. And like if I could find and afford more of those sweaters back then, I could be have like increased my um so much during that time so I'm like why not do it now that I do have the cash to spend and um profit coming in to recycle onto that I've been reading this book about the 80 20 rule and I'm really trying to implement that into my business strategy by doing less and just focusing on high profit areas the sweaters that made me the most profit and the place that made me the most profit was this one thrift store in Williamsburg that I used to go to and they had like all the sweaters. I used to find this one particular brand which is Dale of Norway. I did do a video on it where I like thrifted from this particular store before where I did pick up the um, Dale of Norway sweater. Typically I'm just going back there trying to find these sweaters that were giving me this profit but in a higher in a higher volume yes there you go that's the word <laughs> i'm trying not to talk too much but i'm trying to give you guys all the details of what, what's been going on and why i'm doing all of this so i went to the one that i went to when i first started reselling and they didn't have much sweaters i guess because it's still summer and when i used to go there i started reselling in october like the end of october and i would have bought those sweaters found that store and bought those sweaters about like december ish to like maybe march and then like after that i kind of leaned off and then i discovered the bins and i would go to the bins and try to like find summer clothes so i went to that store in search of these dillo moe sweaters in there did remind me of some other brands that i used to buy as sweaters as well that also were high profit so i picked those up because they had such little sweaters and i am like in search for sweaters right now in preparation for winter especially these Dylan Murray ones. I decided to go to a couple more thrift stores that is under like the same brand of thrift stores. Like it's called L Train Vintage. When I went there I thought it was called Urban Jungle. I don't know if it's the same thing as one in Williamsburg but there are like a ton of L Train Vintages scattered about the city. So I decided since one only had so many sweaters, I would just go check out some of the other ones. And I did go to one other thrift store as well that I'm going to show you the pieces that I got. I don't remember the name of the thrift stores, but I'll tell you about that when we get there. If you want to see the stuff that I got in this video, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So one of the first things I got at the first thrift store is this cable knit sweater. All of these sweaters are mold. Oh, I just noticed the buttons on this is so cute. Love cute buttons. Like this button down cable neck sweater. And it has like this like huge like collar. What size is this anyway? It might just be large. Oh, it's a medium. So these pockets here. So I think this probably be good for like maybe like a chilly fall day because of the sleeves. I don't think you'd wear that in winter unless you wear it with like a white long sleeve. I think would look best. Oh yeah, this is from Aaron Craft. This is one of those brands also that were high profit for me when I first started reselling. And just being in the thrift store kind of just reminded me of that brand because I did forget about it. Um, I really just went there for the Dale and Norway in mind only. But then I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, this also has like pretty good profits. Yeah, I paid $10 for this one and 
these sell for in good condition i think they sell for about like 80 ish so pretty good profit if i do say so myself and they do sell very well like they're high demand because they are irish wool Let's see 100 wool made in ireland cute perfect condition it's obviously like a little bit yellow but i mean I mean, I can't really tell if it was like meant to be this color or maybe it like aged, but otherwise it's in really good condition. Another Erin's craft sweater. So it's just this really pretty blue color. You know, the first time I picked up Erin's craft I actually wasn't even at the thrift store by my mom's. It's like a brownstone area. So in front of the brownstones, a lot of people they'll like put stuff out after they don't want it anymore. This particular day, I was just like taking a walk and like somebody just put the sweater literally on their like, like stone <laughs> front area. So I'm like, oh, well, what's this? Cause obviously I'm new to thrifting and I'm like, oh my gosh, clothing in this area, it has to be worth something, should be. I picked it up and it was Aaron's craft, searched it out, like, oh, it's the profits. I took it home. I actually washed the sweater when I took it home and ended up shrinking it, but someone did end up buying it shrunken after like a couple of months anyhow. So yeah, that was the first time I actually discovered Aaron's craft. So this is this really nice one, obviously, very, very, very good condition. I think this is a size extra small, yeah, a size extra small, also 100% wool. I think all these sweaters are 100% wool, so I don't have to say it every single time. But it's just this cute cable knit crew neck blue sweater. I really like this one, might even end up wearing it. It kind of has like a smell to it, like I don't know what smell that is, it kind of doesn't smell like an old person. But it has a little bit of a smell. It's probably that like vintage smell. Actually, a lot of the pieces smell like that. I don't know if they like spray this stuff or if it's just like a collective of all the vintage things in there that just like makes everything smell like this. But like they smell like it's not a bad smell, but like I don't know, it just has like an old esque smell to it. But this doesn't look old, it actually looks very new and like up to date my opinion so this is really cute probably end up wearing this one maybe with some like leggings and like white socks white sneakers super casual 80s esque look we have this um island icelandic design one of the sweaters um that i was talking about in that video this is the brand that i thought it might have been like affiliated with i think um this Icelandic design brand because it was actually very similar to this style of sweater I think it had like buttons instead but the buttons are missing so if you haven't seen that video go watch it that sweater was also cute I actually like this style of sweater I think this is a bomb ass Christmas sweater to be honest it's just this like vintage print wool sweater with the zip here and then it has like these like buttons at the side which is pretty cute right and yeah this is that and it's glory oh it was called squaw valley this has more of like a proper range of like 40 50 60 ish but i mean again i bought it for ten dollars i think i could be wrong it could be more than that because i feel like the ten dollar ones all the sweaters that are priced at like ten dollars in the store not all of them but like the sweaters that are priced at like ten dollars in the store usually for reselling has like a good profit i love that about the thrift store especially because like they don't they have like really good stuff and they're in like the um hipster neighborhood like the upscale hipster neighborhoods like soho and like williamsburg but their prices are still like thrift store prices which is super bomb because in those areas when you go to thrift stores it'd be really expensive i'm like is this a thrift store or not guys um, so yeah i'm glad i'm able to like go in there find quality stuff and like high value stuff and not have to pay a million dollars these next items aren't sweaters but they were there and they were cheap and i think i'm gonna get a good profit from them so i decided to just pick them up anyway so first thing is this free with, i mean free with tag people i think it's a dress or it's like a tunic top 
with this purple free people um dress or tunic top with this boat neck and like lace detail right here and it's a button down high low button down so many details but it is a size large and it is new attack so i was like new attack yeah we get that like it was only eight dollars so new attack free people i'd say i'd probably get like dollars for this i think free people has like an item number i don't remember but I haven't really searched it up but i just knew i would get profit on this so i was like why not a new tag for sure that's another thing why i wanted to go to these stores because i just want more quality items i'm tired of picking up items with defects or i'm tired of picking up items that looks good in the store then when i get home it has like stains that i can't get out like small stains that i can't get out or like a hole somewhere so that was my another point of me like going to this thrift store and like the bins where like they just dump the stuff in and they don't go over it where i'm sure at these stores they go over it at least you know sort of i just want better quality items now like i don't want to like have to go home and like do stain treatments and like sew things and like all of that stuff it's just a lot of work especially with everything else that i'm doing like responding to customers and taking the pictures and thrifting itself even though that's my favorite part it's just like a lot of stuff to like add that in there as well so next thing is this vintage this is like clearly vintage this vintage dvf red button down and it has like this like like over thing i just noticed the button was missing speaking of defects but that's a small one but it has like this like little overhanging thing at the top and it's just like this cute little button up and this one is only three dollars for vintage dvf stuff like i cannot lose with that it's a size eight and it's only made up 100 percent polyester so nothing special but it's DBF vintage, only three dollars. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take that. That is the missing button. It's in like pristine condition. It's even freaking ironed. Like I was like, yep, this one's gonna have to come with me. It must be like so cute with like a little skater skirt with like the flaps here. I feel like it just adds so much to it. So cute. Dreams of Valentine's Day to me or Christmas. So could wear it for Christmas too. Even though it's a light top, I mean, like, Christmas. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of winter-esque, right? So, that's so bad to not be a sweater. Okay. Okay, okay so this is the last item that I found at that first thrift store. And this was just a surprise and a pleasure to me. I was not expecting this. Honestly, I was looking through the dresses and I had no business looking through dresses because I was looking for winter clothes and who was wearing dresses in the winter. And honestly, I'm so glad I did. I was like, let me look through these dresses. You know, dresses are high profit. Let me just look. I love looking through the dresses. So I'm just like looking through the dresses and guess what I stumbled upon? I need you to pause this video and in the comments below, guess what i found guess the brand of item that i found just guess it's a really good one it goes really fast super high demand always good yes it starts with a j i'll wait i'll wait i'll give you like a couple seconds did you guess did you guess okay so this is what i got and for the price guys i just uh thank you god <laughs> Um, so I got a Johnny Was. Oh my gosh. In like perfect condition. Do you see this? It's like, I don't know if it's, it's definitely a dress. It has like this like embroidered cutout at the front. I mean, like, you probably want to like put this, put like a dress underneath this. So, I mean, layering totally fall winter as. I don't know. I don't think this is a very wintery dress but i still think it's gonna go super fast because johnny was always goes super fast for me and it's probably gonna be an 80 to 100 plus profits i mean like come on 
I mean profit, but sale. I mean like come on, this is like the best thing. I literally, I didn't scour any of the other dress racks and the other thrift stores, but I need to go back and do that because this find Johnny was, and this was like the perfect aesthetic of like that thrift store, it's like bohemian hippie type vibe. So I was like, oh my gosh, they have to have more of these. If I found one, they have to have one because it's totally down their alley. Um, so it's just, just like this like wide sleeved embroidered cutout front. It's literally see through here huge deep like round v-neck and i only paid six dollars for this dress if i found this at goodwill it would be double the price and even if it was double the price it's still so worth it like oh my god perfect love those like high profit finds okay so the next thrift store i only found one item i went there like the next l train vintage i went there like i don't know maybe like 20 10 15 minutes ish before they closed and i was just like walking around the store looking for sweaters again initially they had this one one rack of sweaters like wool sweaters because that's what i'm looking for wool sweaters and that's, that's what they look Norway sells so that's what i was looking for i'm guessing because it's not winter yet i only had one rack of wool sweaters on the first floor um I didn't know they had two floors so i went through the first rack they didn't have anything good like at all so i didn't get anything there and i was just like browsing around the store looking for more sweaters looking at the dresses a little bit and then i noticed some people coming from downstairs and i was like what's that over there it says open so i went down there and i was just looking around and then the lady was like she looked she, 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 she was just a little <laughs> she had a little ad too she like excuse me I was like, well then, honestly, I was not in the mood. I was just like, oh my bad, because <laughs> I'm not even like problematic like that. But she had a like, she was her attitude, not it. She was like, the store's closing, whatever. And literally in that last bit of time, I noticed some like sweaters in a corner in the back, and I was like, oh, more sweaters down here. Yes, perfect. So I went over there and looked, and guess what I found? Guys, my first deal of Norway. It's this pretty ass blue, purple, vintage looking with this like mock neck Asian style with the buttons. Um, deal of Norway sweater. I think this one is a woman's sweater. I've never picked a woman's sweater from them before, always men's. Um, but I think this one is women's from like the buttons. So cute. I am in love and this is the deal of Norway tag this is an easy like $100 profit and again I only spent $10 um, about $100 sale not profit sale so my first deal of Norway the ladies bad attitude was worth it you know <laughs> um, yeah it's really cute i really like the buttons and it's a little bit itchy let's see what size this is what size is it it isn't like oh it's a size large i feel like this might be a little bit shrunk because it's small and it's itchy like i said but yeah oh it also has like it says dale casual at this at the end cute i love this you guys don't know how happy that makes me because it's just the beginning of the right track. And it was because I have some more. Okay. So after that store, all... So after that store, there was like a ton of other vintage thrift stores in that area. But it was late. I think it was like 8 o'clock. So this one was the only one that was really open. That was like really close by so I went to visit this one. It wasn't a train vintage, it was this other one. It was called Cure Thrift Store. So that's what it was called, Cure Thrift Store. This thrift store was hella expensive. What, like literally hella expensive. Um, the prices, like they were already like reseller prices. So yeah, like most of the prices were already reseller prices. 
or higher like i saw this cotton i think free people sweater was it free people i don't remember but it was like this cotton sweater for like 45 dollars and i was like 40 45 dollars in a thrift store in this brand what how how could you but that's what it was it was like really expensive i even saw some prada heels and i was like oh my god prada guys why it was it was 135 dollars which i mean i mean i don't have 135 dollars to be spending on one item right now unfortunately but if i did and if i could have gotten a profit i might have picked those up because yes honestly i went in that area they had bags and shoes and one of my first high profit items was a product bag in goodwill so i was like just there like this store is so expensive let me just look i bet they have some product and i was looking in the bags i couldn't like directly see any bags that i would have thought was product but then i went to look at the shoes and i was like oh my god what the heck these shoes they have Prada shoes here and I can't even afford to buy them but it's okay we'll stumble upon more Prada in the future speaking it into existence for cheaper prices that I can afford or I will be able to afford eight hundred thirty four dollars hopefully then I'll be able to like profit on it being like 500 at resale value or something that would be great but anyhow left the Prada but I did, however, pick up some tops. I'm just gonna show you all at once. I got three Sundance tops. All of these were originally $22. Luckily, the day that I went there, she said they were having a half off sale. So I got three of these little embroidered tank top in, in cream, pink, and white they were literally just all sitting next to each other all of them were 22 dollars and um sundance was actually a brand that i discovered at the thrift store the first l chain vintage that i ever went to and so i was like why not pick it up um these would probably sell for about 34 dollars ish so or it could be listed for 34 dollars ish so i'm like I'll probably be able to at least double my money, so I decided to pick them up and take them with me. Even though like this is obviously summer, I was like, why not? It's three of them, so what loss can I have? Three of them, pay thirty dollars, and at max, I'll be able to get like a hundred dollars back. So I mean, not that bad three different items so <sighs> oh my gosh okay so those are the first three thrift stores that i went to so what was it i think it was yesterday i went to two more l train vintages honestly i they were in my old neighborhood with my mom um and i had no idea like i I might have been to one of them before, but I don't think I ever knew that it was L Street Vintage. Um, so, they, so I went to that one and then I noticed on the map that there was another one like two avenues away. So I just, oh no, it was two avenues away. It was like a bus ride away. So like I took the bus over there and um, it was just a couple of stops on the bus. Not really, like, really, really far, like a few avenues, but it was almost closing time again. So I wanted to catch that one while I was in the area. So I took the bus there. So I went to two other L train vintages yesterday and got some stuff. I did find another deal. Let's see. Okay, so this is the first one I went to. Let's see, this is the one wearing sweater. I don't remember. Okay. Oh no. So I got this. Ralph Lauren sweater actually. I'm actually starting to pick Ralph Lauren more as I'm starting to learn which ones are like higher profit. So I found this Ralph Lauren rugby, this Ralph Lauren rugby um sweater. It's 100% wool and it looks like this. Pretty cute. I'm pretty sure this is a men's sweater. What size is it? It looks small. Oh, yep. Yeah. Size small. 
probably a men's sweater, but it's really cute. I love that little design. I never even looked at the design before this moment in time. I was just like, this brand, it's wool. Never seen this before. Let me search it up, searched it up, and I think my results came up to like, some of these go for like 140, then there were some going for like 60, 80 ish. So, either way, I only paid, paid $10 for it, so pretty good profit. And it has like this little hoodie, it's black, perfect for winter. I am fully expecting to sell all these sweaters that I bought this winter. I don't think any of them are gonna carry over because I just think they're all just like great quality, great condition, and they're all like high demand. So I think all of these are gonna sell this winter 2020 and beginning 2021. Hopefully, because I mean, winter isn't gonna get like really bad until like February so but yeah I expect to sell everything all these sweaters so just keep them coming I'm gonna be looking for way more of them of like more searching for more Zillow Norway and more with Aaron's craft and hopefully discovering more high profit brands that go and for this winter because I am just really trying to like again follow that 80 20 rule and just put less work in and just get more out of it um so yeah definitely gonna be doing some more sweater thread hauls as the months get colder so be sure again to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it and subscribe to know when it's up so yeah all right, so I also got some shoes at this store. I got these St. John shoes. I never seen St. John shoes before. Did you guys see that? I never seen St. John shoes before, but and they're made in Italy. But I know it's a good brand, so I just picked it up. I also picked it up without even checking the prices. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm still gonna be able to profit off of them, so it's fine. I don't really pick up shoes at all. I don't really pick up shoes at all because I hate storing them. I don't like storing shoes because they just take up a lot of space for me and I don't got that much space. Whether it was here or my mom's house, um, I didn't like I didn't like their things for shoes, honestly. But they were at the register and I saw them and I was like, St. John, what? I gotta have this. So I bought them, didn't even look at the like sales on eBay just to come with me because they were only ten dollars I asked her how much it was she was like ten dollars I was like ten dollars for St. John heck yeah I'm taking these I thought it was gonna be like a hundred dollars but no from my search results um I'm seeing majority of these shoes go for over 34 to like fifty dollars and the fifty dollar ones are more like shoes that look like Chanel like the ones that I saw they look they look literally like they were Chanel shoes. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, these don't look like Chanel shoes to me. So I'm pretty sure these are probably gonna go for 34. I'm gonna try to squeeze in a like 40 and hope, hopefully it'll go or, but we'll just have to see. Um, so yeah, pretty good condition. I mean, they don't look very worn at all. They're like, fray of the thread at the heels and honestly that's they're like really good condition so and I get and I mean again that these look like holiday shoes because they're silver so maybe around the holidays it'll go if we have like holiday party season in this new world we live in this new world oh my god that's so insane because there's actually like a dystopian novel called new world or something like that i'm pretty sure it's called this new world and like literally i was thinking about that the other day off topic i was thinking about that, that the other day like like of all the dystopian movies and novels that i've read because it's like one of my favorite categories like the world we live in is so similar and the, we, the fact that I just like said that is just like oh my gosh wow I was thinking this lady was like teaching her baby about the mask in like the store and I was like what if 
this is just how our world is gonna be now like you know how we wear underwear and like tops and bottoms what if like mask is like mask or like a part of our regular attire from now on can you imagine like, that'll be a wild definitely a new world yeah. okay so this is the last thrift store i went to um the first store that i pulled out is from aaron's craft um again there were three sweaters that looked identical to this one. Oh my gosh, she has a heart. I didn't even see that. That is so cute. This is definitely gonna sell. This is cable knit, like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. Wow, amazing. I did not see that before. But um, yeah, there were three sweaters that looked like this. I don't remember what brand they were, but they were all 100% wool. One of them looked like it was Aaron's craft but it didn't have a tag and I'm not like an expert yet. So I don't know. I didn't know if it would be Aaron's calf or not, but there were two other sweaters that looked ident almost identical to this. Like it was the same color, wool, just look like this. So I was gonna get them, but I was like, I'm not sure. And I don't wanna waste my money. Like I can spend the $10 that I'm about to spend on these two sweaters on another deal in Norway that I find somewhere else. Cause there are a lot of L train vintages in the city and I had no idea. I thought there were only two. So we're gonna be going around town, figuring it out, especially as winter comes and people start donating more sweaters. Cause like when I went there last time, they had like a ton of sweaters, like the entire store was sweaters. You couldn't find anything else. So I thought that's what they were like for. So I never went there in like the summer months or anything. Cause I'm like, oh, they sell sweaters. So I'm not gonna go there, cause why? But now I'm like, oh, well, I guess I gotta go later in winter to like find the sweaters. Like a lot of them, but yeah. There were like three of these and I picked up one because that's the only one that had like the tag that I was sure I could pop it on. And then lastly, 42 minutes later, I got one other sweater and actually this isn't like very different from what I usually get. It is just this Vince cardigan. It is a long one. So I'm pretty sure it's like an easy like 70, 80, 90 bucks. Um, sale or return and again only ten dollars so i mean what can i lose if, i think this 100 percent wool as well i didn't even check oh it's, <laughs> yes it's 50 percent wool and 50 percent yak which is a great combination because every time i ever gotten a yak item it has like huge like great profits like more than normal so this is probably hopefully go for like a hundred gods willing i'm gonna look it up but i just know men's sweaters they're like pretty expensive so even like when you resell it so i was like okay definitely gonna get this i don't really need to search this up because i've sold um been sweaters like this before and it's always like 60 70 80 90 could even go for 100 but i think like all the ones that i ever had had like defects so this one's in really good condition that's another thing that i really like all the sweaters that i found they don't have any moth holes or anything they're all just like in great condition and i'm so happy with the things that i found over the last couple days thanks to l train vintage around the store i will be back even the store in Soho with the rude lady because maybe she was having a bad day, who knows? Maybe someone was rude to her first. So, but anyhow, I got what I wanted there. So of course I'm gonna go back. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe down below to be notified for all the thrift stores, the hauls that are coming in the future because they're definitely gonna be coming along with vlogs and like other hauls and stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Love you and I'll see you next video. Bye! Yeah, I'm so hungry, let's go get some food. I'm finally done filming for the day. Bye! <laughs> Good night.
gonna go picture all these things as well. It's a work day. It's a work day today, guys. Okay, bye.